Am I the asshole? For asking for more money for my car? So, I offered to sell my RAV4 that has 100,000 miles on it in January to my brother and his wife. They have a baby and a beat up Honda Civic as well as a sign with way too many miles on it. They shared they'd be car hunting this year. I offered to sell it to them for what Carvanan offered which was $14,500 and they agreed to it right away. The problem was that my wife and I still hadn't picked out our replacement car. So, they'd check in every week or so but we weren't ready. In the end, we decided to hold on to the car until our trip to Disney this past week. I checked Carvana again and they offered me more. This time $16,500. I texted my brother telling him he could have it but he would need to match Carvana's new offer. He responded saying that they're not haggling and they've been putting off buying a car for months because they thought we had an agreement and were just waiting on us. They called me and after stringing them along for three months and then asking for $2,000 more. I'm just trying to do what is right by my two kids and one on the way. Am I the asshole? Oh, hey. Reddit, am I the asshole? Reddit yeah, man, you're definitely the asshole. Up wrong let me argue with everyone in the comments. You're the asshole. I'm just trying to do what is right by my two kids and one on the way. And to hell with my brother, his wife, and their baby. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. If you had checked today and it was less than when you had made the agreement, you wouldn't have said shit. You're the asshole, you're not reliable and you're greedy. Why would you offer to sell a car months before you're actually ready to sell it? It makes zero sense that you'd make an agreement with a sale price if you weren't going to sell the car for three months. You're the asshole. You're the asshole, you gave them a price that they agreed to right away. Holding off for what? Raising it three months later, WTF dude. Did you drive to Disney also? You're the asshole. Your brother is advised by me to only deal with reputable sellers. He can do better than your RAV4 with over 100,000 miles on it plus that long trip to Disney you're planning. You're the asshole for trying to screw over your brother and then acting all innocent. You've added miles onto the car for the past three months and are now trying to ask for more money as well. Come on. You need to ask. You tell him a price and he agrees. You put off the sale your choice and he waits. You check the comparison price, and find that it has gone up because you put off the sale. You're the asshole. If you really want to do what is right you may want to start by checking your integrity rather than your wallet. You're the asshole. You offered them the car, agreed a price, didn't give them the car them increased the price. They don't need this aggro, either sell them the car for 14.5 or less as you've put more miles on it or call the deal off so they can get on with their lives. You're the asshole. There is no interpretation of this story where the narrator is not an asshole. You're the asshole. Either sell the dang thing to Carvana or honor the price you set with your brother. Stringing him along like that was fucked up. Also, to up the price after running more mileage onto the car? You're definitely the R. You're the asshole for making an agreement, making your family wait, and then trying to extort them for more money. You're the asshole for stringing them along and raising the price right at the last second when you know they need a car. If you really need the extra $2,000, just sell your car to Carvana, and they can find another car, but your brother's going to be mad at you for a while. You're the asshole. You offered to sell them the car for $14,500. They agreed to buy it for that price. Deal is done. Now you are trying to change the deal. If Carvana's most recent offer was $5,000 rather than $14,500, would you have lowered the price? I'm guessing not. Yes, you strung them along for three months. You agreed to a price. Now please honor the price. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. It's your brother, and you told him that $14,500 was fair. 
Now you're going back on it because some soulless company offered you more, months later. What's worth more $2,000, or a solid relationship with your brother? You're the asshole, you agreed to a price, you held up the sale and transfer. Finally you decide you want more for it? All of and you're selling it to your brother, honestly do you even like your brother? This is a very crappy thing to do. You're the asshole. Basically all the comments are spot on. You're the asshole, you offered it to them for 14,500 and they said yes, now you're in egging and acting like you're just trying to do right by your family? Lamau, some lesson you'd be teaching them. You're the asshole it's your brother, you did in fact string him along, you agreed to a price, and now you're trying to get more out of him, speechless face. You're a prime example of why one should never get into financial transactions with friends or family. You're the asshole. Also, just, what? You make a deal, then use the car even more, therefore depreciating its value and try to ask for 2k more? On a vehicle that already had 100k? Can I see a diagram of your logic tree? I feel like it'd be pretty as a spirograph. Huge you're the asshole. Info if Carvano offered $12,800 instead of the $16,500, would you give your brother a discount? You're the asshole, you agreed to a deal but not only you made them wait but you want more money, not wanting to honor your own words. Don't fuck people over like that, it's just wrong. You could have said no to them instead of whatever shenanigans you're doing. You're the asshole what a dick move. Especially when you admitted that you wouldn't have offered less if the price dropped. Shitty brother. You're the asshole. You agreed to $14,500, not whatever Carvana is charging at any given moment. You strung them along for months and broke your word, I'm not at all surprised that your brother's pissed at you. Hopefully you'll raise your two kids and one on the way with considerably more ethics than you possess. Overwhelming you're the asshole. You're the asshole. You made an agreement on a specific price, not whatever Carvana is charging. They have every right to be upset. Doing right by your kids is showing them what it looks like to keep your word. You're the asshole. You don't get to agree on a price, hold on to the car for much longer than they wanted because you were procrastinating, and then charge them $2,000 for the privilege of you being an R. No. Carvana isn't going to cut you a check for 16500 They'll find reasons to knock it down. But hey that's business right? Don't take it personally. As a side note who in their right mind would pay $14,500 for a RAV with 100,000 miles on it? You're the asshole. You gave a price, they agreed and now you want to change the deal. They were patient and waited three months for you. The fair thing is to honor the original price. Car prices are unreal over there just looked on a local site and I can get a RAV4 with half that mileage for under 11k and yes you're the asshole you made a deal you don't just get to up the price between the shop floor and the cash register. And this is how you treat your family.